Hi there, welcome, this is Shruti. Today I wanna to talk to you about the most profitable blogging niches that you can get started in this year and exactly how you're gonna be able to make money in each of these niches, what are the ones that I recommend and what are the ones that I don't recommend. Now, you might be wondering why should you listen to me? So I currently own a multiple six-figure blogging business that reaches over 100,000 people every single month, including our email list as well as all our social media channels. And I've learned a thing or two in the past from all of the mistakes that I've made in the last five years of blogging. So without further ado, let's dive into the most profitable blogging niches. So the first niche that I'm excited to talk to you about is personal development and self-care. Now this is a niche that has been growing consistently in popularity for the last couple of years and is going to continue to grow in the next decade as more and more people in their 20s and 30s and also later in life are becoming more and more aware of their patterns and the ways that they can improve their life. Now when it comes to a niche, usually we're talking about a broad topic or a broad industry category that you can refer to and or an audience that you can target with your blog as well. What I also want to give you examples throughout this video is of topics which are going to be sub niches or sub categories so that you can find a way to kind of hone in on that particular topic and be really specific about the niche that you target. So some of the sub niches that you can think about if you're thinking of starting a blog in this niche include mindset, productivity, time management, and just ways to improve your life in a personal manner. Now this could also include for example you know advice on relationships advice on career and all of that because personal development tends to be a really broad topic so you can really hone in on one to two topics that you really want to help your readers with and then sort of just work through that one of my favorite personal blogs in this space is called the every girl and they basically give you a lifestyle resource for improving your life in every aspect possible so they started out with more of self-care and personal development and now they've branched out to into career into finances essentially anything and everything you would need that you require to live a good life. And of course, that's an example of a large website slash blog that has been around for a couple of years and that is a full blown team behind it. But you can check it out for inspiration, see what are the different types of posts, categories, as well as topics they cover just to bounce around and see what ideas you can work in within this space. And keep in mind, a niche doesn't have to box you in entirely. You can get started with one particular niche or sub niche and then in the long run you can always add multiple niches to it as well so for example one of my current websites indiangirling.com actually started out as a travel a europe travel blog but over time i've also added things like wellness personal development finance blogging and lots of different topics to it once i realized exactly who my reader was and what kind of audience i was catering to so think of this video as a starting point for you to start thinking about your niche but don't hesitate to sort of you know dig down and see what are the other complementary topics that you could also write a blog in. When it comes to monetization methods, I think the top two monetization models for this particular type of niche could be ads as well as products. So ads are pretty self-explanatory and I think they will go with all of the niches that I talk about today because in pretty much every niche there's a potential to run ads. The second method that I think can also do really well in this niche is products. So creating and selling your own digital products or even physical products. So for example, if you are in the mindset self-care space or maybe even in you know how to figure out your morning routine and so on, you could for example example be selling planners you could be selling candles you could be selling lots of complementary physical and digital products in this niche that are going to make up the bulk of your income okay the next niche that i want to talk to you about is a niche that i think everyone on the planet is interested in and that's food and recipes now i can bet that all of us have at some point looked up a recipe either on google or on youtube and that's exactly why this niche is so popular now keep in mind food and recipes is a highly highly competitive niche and the reason being that there is a lot of monthly searches happening in this niche which means there's a lot of interest and a lot of audiences that are looking for this particular topic think about how often in a day you might be looking for a particular recipe and just think about how many searches and how many blog posts and how many videos you go through looking for that as well right now the thing about this niche is that even though it is highly competitive and you know has a lot of people interested in this niche there's also a lot of space in this niche because of the fact that it's highly competitive so a lot of people get scared when they start a blog thinking you know i don't want to pick a competitive niche because i won't be able to rank or i won't be able to build my audience but i actually think that having a healthy amount of competition in a niche is a really really good sign that it's going to be relatively easier for you to monetize in that niche and kind of play in the long run because of the fact that it's already proven that it's a profitable niche and if you look around at any blogging income reports or data you will always find food and recipes to be one of the most profitable blogs to start the key thing to note here when it comes to picking a profitable niche is that how are you going to be able to differentiate your niche versus the tons and tons of other blogs out there so when it comes to for example food and recipes niche how are you going to differentiate your blog from the millions of other food bloggers out there right so you can probably look at 
either targeting a very specific audience. So maybe you can look at, for example, specific diet tips for new moms, or you could look at a very specific type of diet. So maybe you can have a blog all around the paleo diet or all around an Ayurvedic diet and so on and so forth. So when you find that particular pocket of people that you want to target or that particular type of, you know, recipes that you want to target, that is really where you can find success in this niche. So I highly recommend if you're interested in this niche to spend a little bit of time searching lots of different sub niches and also understanding exactly what sort of knowledge and skill base you have and what you could offer to people on the internet, which is going to be of value and still going to be a profitable idea for you. Now, the top two methods in which you can monetize this blog include advertising as well as sponsorships. Now, advertising again is pretty straightforward. There's a high search volume, which means there's a lot of traffic or visitors on your blog, which means you can monetize this traffic all day long with ads. However, another really, really interesting way to make money with food blogs is through sponsorships, because as we know, there's so many companies and products in the FMCG food space, which are just looking for new bloggers to, you know, kind of showcase their products, do reviews for them, and then make money through that method as well. Okay, the next niche is one that I think is only going to go up from now to, you know, the next decade, and that is personal finance and investment. Now, when we talk about personal finance and investment, it's pretty much anything and everything to do with the way we manage our money in our day-to-day -day life. So it could be anything to do with how to, for example, invest in the stock market. It could be how to invest in crypto. It could be how to create and sell NFTs. It could be about retiring early. It could be about financial freedom. Like there are literally so many topics that you can focus on within personal finance, not to mention the fact that the kind of partners that you can have in personal finance because of the amount that this audience spends is definitely much more on the premium side, which means that you don't need a large amount of people to actually make a large amount of money in this niche. So what you really need is a specific audience that you can focus on and a specific topic that you can provide them with. And then you can kind of monetize your blog in different methods in order to make the same amount of money that you would probably require in other niches with a lot bigger audiences. When it comes to monetizing this niche, the top two methods are going to be advertising and affiliates. Now, advertising works phenomenally well in this niche because of the fact that the audience that is looking, you know, to get captured has a very high premium on it. So think about it. If you have a blog, which is all about credit cards, the types of companies that are going to be advertising on your blog are going to be banks as well as financial organizations, which have a lot of money to spend for acquisition of their customers. Hence, the ad revenue that you can make on your blog tends to be quite higher. And this is going to be the case all around, whether you look at a YouTube channel, which is talking about finance, or you look at a blog, which is talking about finance. Another excellent way to make money in this space is through affiliates. And again, affiliates also tend to be these types of partners that you can kind of partner up with, whether those are insurance, banking, or financial organizations that again, generally tend to have a pretty high commission per sale or per customer acquisition. Now, one of my favorite resources in the industry in this topic includes her first 100K. And you can really see the types of topics that she covers and see how you could translate that to a specific audience and how you could translate that to a specific sector as well. All right, the next niche is one that has been steadily kind of gaining momentum, but post 2020 is even more relevant. And that niche is side hustles. Now, when we talk about side hustles, there are primarily two types of side hustles that I'm talking about. There's going to be side hustles which are online. So anything and everything you can do online, for example, buying and selling websites, selling secondhand gear, blogging, all of these different ways to make money online. And there are also going to be side hustles which you can do offline. So for example, restoring furniture or flipping houses. There are so many side hustles that you can think of. And I think this is a topic that is going to get more and more relevant, specifically with the younger generation that is now kind of graduating and is understanding that maybe going through a traditional nine to five or a corporate route is not the way that they want to go. And they want to kind of dabble their, you know, hands in side hustles. This is why I think this could be a niche that is really potentially worth exploring. And there's so many different takes and different sub niches that you can look into it. You can also talk about side hustles that you can start specifically for moms or for college students, or even side hustles that can be started with low to no working capital or side hustles in a specific sector as well. When it comes to monetization, the two best methods will be advertising as well as affiliates because number one, lots of advertisers are looking for people who are in this particular age group and in this particular demographic that generally people are looking for in terms of side hustles. And when it comes to affiliates, you really can partner with so many different online companies, for example, Fiverr, Upwork, etc., which are always looking for this, you know, freelancer gig economy and kind of get commissions on sales or any leads that you refer to them as well. Alternate ways to also monetize this blog would be through services. So for example, if you offer a side hustle service, for example, helping someone figure out what their side hustle 
hustle could be or maybe even consulting or coaching i think that would be an excellent way to monetize this particular niche as well the next niche that i want to talk to you about is again one that is extremely relevant for current times and is going to be relevant for the next decade or so and that is digital marketing now this is the niche that i predominantly am in and my company digital empires specifically is within this niche where we help entrepreneurs as well as small business owners use pinterest as well as blogging to grow their brands and businesses and build a long-term profitable business online so this niche includes subcategories such as social media copywriting seo content marketing blogging so on and so forth Again, because this is an industry that is constantly on the rise and constantly booming, even if you just pick a small aspect of this industry to target and a small audience to target, you can still be in a very, very profitable niche in the long run. Now, when it comes to the business model in this niche, I believe that the two best ways to monetize this niche is through advertising as well as products. Now, ads are pretty self-explanatory when it comes to products. The thing about this niche is that pretty much everyone is looking to consume information because digital marketing is not something that existed 50 years ago. It is a relatively new field and tons and tons of people are looking for information in this niche. Now, whether it comes to selling eBooks or courses or even workshops and digital conferences, there's so many different products and even productized services that you can offer in this niche. I really believe that that is one of the most lucrative ways to make money in this niche if you're starting a blog in the digital marketing space. The next niche that I want to talk to you about is also an evergreen niche like food and recipes, which is basically never going to go out of fashion. And that is health and fitness. Now, just like the food and recipes niche, this is also a highly competitive space because of the fact that there's so many monthly searches happening in this particular niche. And also because there are so many different ways that you can kind of, you know, offer value to your readers in this niche. So again, just like I mentioned in the food and recipe space, the key to differentiating yourself is by picking a sub niche or a sub audience that you can focus on that not that many people are offering or not that many people are doing that so well and then do that really really well so you can also look at specific for example alternate exercise styles you can look at for example a blog which is just going to be around pilates or at home workouts or even have a specific health and fitness blog that relates to a particular audience so maybe you want to have a health and fitness blog for a 40 year olds or maybe you want to have a health and fitness blog for new moms or for teenagers and so on and so forth so when it comes to a highly competitive but evergreen niche the best way to stand out right now is to pick a particular category or audience that you can target and do that really really well over the next couple of years when it comes to monetization in this niche again ads and affiliates tend to be the best ways to go forward because ads work well when you have a large pool of audience that is available to you in a particular niche and when it comes to affiliates again you can have so many different partners from gyms from supplement companies from protein companies from pretty much everyone in the world that is offering any product related to health and fitness whether that is a food product or that is a clothing item really the sky is the limit when it comes to affiliate marketing with this niche the next niche that i want to talk to you about is one of my personal favorite niches at the moment and i think this is also going to blow up in the next decade this niche is the spirituality niche so anything to do with any sort of spiritual growth and spiritual development I think is really going to blow up in the next decade or so more and more people that I talk about spirituality is something that is becoming really mainstream so whether that is a blog on astrology or astronomy or human design or energy centers or healing there are so many things that you can kind of focus on in this niche it's also a very interesting niche in terms of monetization because whereas all the other niches focus a lot on ads and affiliates I think this particular niche is best suited for monetization with products and services so you could either be offering your own product so let's say you are a tarot card reader that wants to have a tarot card blog you could be selling your own tarot cards to your site as well as through other sites that you know allow you that option when it comes to services you can also be meeting your clients in a one-on-one -on -one capacity or you could be offering coaching or you could be even doing in-person workshops or trainings really there's so many different ways that you can sort of monetize this niche I genuinely think that when it comes to making the spiritual niche profit profitable products and services are the way to go forward because not only can you scale them up a lot specifically products you also can reach the kind of impact that you're looking for with these particular monetization methods okay so that's pretty much it for this video if you're looking to learn more about how to pick a niche that is profitable and what are the specific elements you need to look for in order to you know be successful in the niche that you pick then make sure to check out my free masterclass which is going to be linked in the description box below it's a one-hour training where i walk you through the main ways to which you can differentiate your yourself as a blogger specifically when it comes to picking a niche the type of content that you create as well as the way that you monetize your blog as always make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one